Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Recently a company named AKK reached out to me and asked me to review some of the products. So they sent me these two products for review. First of all, this is a video transmitter with a pigtail. And the second one is this camera. This is a CCD 600 TV line camera. And it comes also with this video transmitter. So what I'm gonna do in this video, I'm going to add this transmitter along with this camera to the Hubsan H502E, which I've recently reviewed. This is a GPS enabled quadcopter and it has a built-in HD camera, but I want to add FPV so my girlfriend will be able to use it. It's gonna be easier for her than flying a real quadcopter because this is a self-leveling GPS enabled quadcopter and it's pretty easy to fly. So first, let me quickly show you the products they sent me. First of all, they sent me this video transmitter. It has selectable 25, 200 and 600 milliwatt switch. The pigtail, the pigtail is soldered to the board, as you can see. And I think this is a bit too stiff. So probably they should have included a, a more flexible cable and I I'm pretty afraid that it's going to snap on the crash or something like that. So that's AKK should take it into consideration. And if it was replaceable by an IPX, IPX connector, probably it would have been better, but it comes like that. It has this connector, which I'm not a big fan of because they are pretty rare to find, but on the other, other side, when they, we connect them, they are firmly put in their place and they're not going to go anywhere. The connector is a standard SMA connector. Let me quickly connect it and power it on. Remember, never turn on a video transmitter without an antenna being connected because it's going to burn it. The supported voltage is between 7 volts to 24 volts, so it's a pretty wide voltage range. I'm going to use my two cells battery. Now it's connected, now it's on zero the power is zero pressing it shortly select the channel if you long press it again it will choose the frequency you have five to choose from and if you long press it again now you can choose between zero one hyphen two hyphens and three hyphens so it's either zero 25 200 and 600 milliwatt being three hyphens. So this is a pretty standard menu. In the included manual, they show you here the frequency table, which you can use. So this is pretty useful. You should put it aside. I'm going to use it on one of my next builds. So I'm going to put it aside for now. The receiver I'm going to use in this build is going to be this one, which was bundled with this camera. We have here two indicators, one is for the frequency and the other one is from the band. It has also a built-in microphone and it's 600 milliwatts. So here the power output is not selectable. Unfortunately, this camera only supports five volts so they had to put here this adapter. I will cut some of the wires because they are too long. It came with this adapter, so you have to plug it in here in this manner because it's the supported voltage between between 7 to 24 volts i'm going to directly connect it to the battery of the hubson for to the port this one is 7.4 volt it's two cells so it's going to be okay and the other one is going to be connected to the camera i'm going to locate the camera in the front and the transmitter is going to be located here in the rear of the quadcopter of course it's going to add some weight but I think it's going to be more fun to fly FPV than just to fly it in line of sight. So let's get into work.
So I finished connecting everything up. I made sure it's okay. You could see in the video that it flew pretty nice. And I'm going to take it outside for a test flight. Probably the flight time is going to be reduced, but I don't think it's gonna be make that much of a difference. You can see that the battery slides in without any problem and the door also closes without any problem. If you want to do a better job, maybe you can open up the quadcopter and do it instead of just uh, connecting it in this manner. But I think this will work for me. You can also use smaller transmitters and you can use also an only one camera like the TXO3. Maybe it's going to be easier for you, but the problem is going to, you're going to need to use a converter because uh, this the TXO3 supports only five volts. So we'll have to use the power the adjuster. So let's take it for a test flight. On the bottom right, you can see the HD camera of the quadcopter and on the center, you can see the FPV video and the quality was pretty surprising. I didn't want to get too far because I didn't want to lose the signal of the quadcopter. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question about it, you are more than welcome to ask it in the comment section below and see you on my next videos. Enjoy the rest of the video and goodbye. Keep it together Ooh.